Hey there, I'm Mike of the Up Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another go at this scenario, which I did before and failed dismally. Uh, largely because I didn't have any way of knowing when I was going to hit the ground, which is a kind of thing you, know, you need to know. So this is the boost back. I am currently heading... Uh, I don't know actually which way I'm, where I'm heading. I'm heading back, so I'm on the right track. Uh, so I want surface. Oh. Um. So really I'm looking for my suicide burn distance, which is information I did not have before, you see. How much delta V have I got? Some. I've got 383 delta V. And so now I'm going to get a suicide burn distance, which I can use to hopefully land where I'm supposed to land. Let's put our gear out. Let's be let's be optimistic. This may well be a very short episode. One one or the other is gonna be quite short. So what I'm waiting for that is to, for that to go quite low and that's what I'm gonna go full throttle. I hope all the engines are actually active. I'm not sure they are. So I actually overcooked it a little bit there. I'm going to call that a success. <laughs> well, I lost all my engines. So other than that, it was fine. Uh, <laughs> I overcooked it, and I wasn't able to to um, lower myself in a nice um, gradual method. Um, did, I have, uh, did I have access to RCS at any point? I don't know. Do I have any monoprop on this? I don't have any monoprop on this. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to have another go at that. I'm going to have another go. Because... That was quite close. Um, I've also noticed that um, somehow everything's... I'm actually going to go, go back a second and have a look at my training. Yes, because suddenly everything's in the right order. I don't know what it was, but I, I had everything in a weird, weird order before. And I also had a problem where um, the various indicators on the netball weren't the right color, but that seems to fix itself. I've actually moved this away from... Oh, that's interesting. I don't have to restart this one. Well, it's saying I don't need to restart it. Don't know what I'm going to get. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So you notice everything's actually in the right color, um, which is interesting. Right, I'm going to put. No, I'm going to leave my gear where it is until we stop being on fire. So we're heading for the right place, which is good. Uh, it's just about whether I can uh, actually do the landing. And I had enough. I was I had enough power to do it, but it was it was um, getting just the right amount of power. 
to keep my my speed at the right point, the right amount, so I can actually like land and not smash. Um, so apart from the fact that I broke all the engines, the engines are the expensive bit that I'm trying to save. Apart from that, everything went fine. Another thing I want to do is um, I don't really want to. I want to be more upright. I want to possibly stick myself when I get to. Um, very close. I want to probably go back, f leave it off um, retrograde, and just and go with stability assist. So I'm waiting on the su suicide burn distance to get down to about a hundred meters. Oh, pull my gear out. Now I've gone up, so I've gone. I've gone too far. Oh, I've run out of, run out of juice. This is also this is quite hard. So I don't actually have. I actually ran out of of, of juice. Uh, That's still even with, even with the um, with Kerbal Engineer. This is really hard. Do I have to restart. Still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one more go. I'm gonna have one more go. So even with Kerbal um, Engineer, this is quite hard because I've got just about enough fuel to get me down and no more. I don't think there's anything else that'll help me. No, not really. I also don't think I have a lot of um, control over the craft. So a lot of it's going to be somehow getting myself all the way down to zero speed. I mean, ideally you want to do it literally. You want to do it literally when you hit zero. You, you, you know, the, 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 the suicide burn hits exactly zero. And that's when you go, and that's when you just. But I don't think, as a mere mortal human, I don't think I'm even capable of that. I don't even have my SAS on right now. So I'm just hoping that the. Mainly, what the SAS, what most steering do is actually going to be using these air brakes. Now, put the gear out. And this is, it really does feel like a suicide bed. And I want to somehow keep my surface spe speed. And I, I don't want to go below zero. I don't want to go back up again because that's what breaks everything. But at the same time, it's keeping it um, right, keeping it still. Now the problem here is I'm going to land back. Oh, I'm going to now I'm going to go along, which is not helping anybody. Oh well. I think I think I'm just going to have to admit I saved I, I saved like m many of the engines, some of them. <laughs> How many engines? Nine. I saved uh, four of the nine engines. So there you go. <laughs> this is a very hard thing to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to say I I can't do it. I think I just have to admit that I cannot do this particular one. <laughs> That's really hard. I think you'd have to do that under, under computer control. Uh, so there you go. That's me not being able to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fiddle around EVA in curb and orbit. You start 40, 40 meters away from your ship. Well, I don't think this is going to take me very long at all to play with. I'm just going to look around, see what ship they've got, and 
zoom over. Something about, I don't know what it is, but whether it's the new version, whether it's um, the fact that I can now, you know, it's this this version of, of um, Kerbal Space Program is Unity 5 now. Um, uh, what else is good about this? It's 64-bit, and something about that has made it really easy and really smooth uh, to, you know what, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this around like this. I want the hatch to be in the sunlight so I can see it. There you go. But it's just made maneuvering these kerbals really smooth. There you go, look at that. Oh, here we go. Look at you. Oh, there's actually, there's a horde of this in here. How much delta have you ever got? Oh, I've got loads, isn't that? Tons of that would be. In an orbit, right? Right, okay. That's probably a bit too much. Do we have a heat shield on this? I don't think so. Point towards maneuver. See if we can't land. Uh, okay, well, um, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. Add, add. The burn's going to be in the dark, but that shouldn't matter. How long is this burn going to take? Boom, 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 time to nose. Four seconds. So we'll bring it down. Just zoom ahead slightly. 15, 14, 13, Two, one, go. What's up, Perry? Thirty five, that'll do. And we will walk to say here ish. Uh, I have uh, 1,411 1, Delta V's left, which is quite a lot, actually. Uh, I don't think I'm at any point I'm gonna, not going to make it over to the I don't think so. No. Where's the sun? Why is it so dark? Oh, because the sun's more or less in front of us. Oop. Four minutes to periapsis. Will we get overland? I don't know why. If I if I particularly wanted to land on 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 land, we have three of these, so we're just going to chuck the minimum pressure up. Just in case. I wonder if there are situations where you don't want to do that because uh, you'll end up um, 
Oop, there we go. Because if you end up over a mountain and you, you have your minimum air pressure too high, the, the chutes may end up deciding that they don't want to uh, deploy because you're too high up. And by the time that your, your chutes need to deploy, which is a thousand feet above the ground, the air pressure might not be enough. I'm going to land over the ocean, so it doesn't, none of that, none of the stuff I've just been talking about matters. I am 100% going to be over the ocean. I already stopped being on fire. I might. I'm actually quite close to the, the big crater. Oh, there it is. There's the big crater. So let's eject that off that way. Bye-bye back end. Thank you very much. Your service has been much appreciated. And now I just hope that I don't don't have horrible things happen to me. I could still be in line for going on fire. So I'm still going through at Mac 2-ish. Am I ooh, am I gonna hit look am I gonna hit land? I see my back end anymore. It's still there. It's a kilometer away now. Don't think I'm going to hit land if I am. Oh my! Mm. G forces aren't terrible. Feeling it? Oh, there we go. We're stopping on fire. That was that was nice. It's, that was quick. Three kilometers away from my back end now. Four, four and a bit. We are landing in the water, but we're going to be quite close to shore. So that's fine. Our parachutes are not deploying yet because they've been told not to. There we go. And then we'll turn off SAS. No, the parachutes weren't very weren't balanced. This this one was well, I'm not sure actually. Looks like one of them was set slightly higher than the others or something. They don't seem to have been placed completely symmetrically. And there's the back end falling into the ocean and making a very small splash. It's probably a very large splash, it's just very far away. Getting a bit of physics wobble, actually. <laughs> I find my shadow. I don't can't remember if you get a shadow on uh, the ocean. There we go. You do. All right. So a few a few meters to go. We're going nicely at uh, six odd meters a second. So everything's fine. It's a bit interesting that I'm a bit skewed. I don't have SAS on. Or I didn't until just second, until just then. So I'm not quite sure why I wasn't just pointing straight down. Sploosh! We have arrived. Yay us. Anyway, that was fun. That got us back down. So that was a fun little jaunt. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come visit the updice at theupdice.com. Also available, available on Facebook and Twitter. You can find notes and uh, links to all of that in the descript video description. And until we meet again, reach to the stars and bring back your people safely.